It is one of the great venues in the National Football League, CenturyLink Field in Seattle, and the fans of the Pacific Northwest are ready to be that 12th man for the Seahawks again today against the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. And today's game is being broadcast in Spanish where available teams. First and 10 after going three and out. Both teams three and out in their opening possessions. That's caught by Golden Tate with some running room and a first down. Out near midfield. Brought down finally by Josh Evans who's checked in for Dwight Lowry who has been taken to the locker room with a head injury. His return is questionable. That was good for 20 yards. Well, you'll watch as Tate comes out. The, res the tight end and the inside receiver both released to block. It's a very quick screen. It catches Puzlozny up inside and actually... Second and ten after the incomplete pass. Lynch right side. Big hole for Marshawn Lynch. Down inside the 25-yard line. 27 yards, Mike Harris finally brought him down. Well, this was a problem last week for Jacksonville. They, they're having trouble in the run fit. Watch as the linebackers step up, and the zone blocking on the backside is key as the offensive lineman won't let the backside of the defensive front crash down on Lynch. He squeaks through the hole on the front side. And, of course, we all know Marshawn Lynch is never one to shy away from contact in the secondary. He gets every yard coming to him. Jumbo package, play action, touchdown. Zach Miller was all alone. And when you can run the ball like that, the play action works. After having a power pack, very physical drive coming down to set up the score, they beat the Jaguars with a finesse play, a quick play action. And the tight end just sneaks out the backside. Zach Miller with the easy, see him go down for like a cut block on Alu Alu. And just, and he sends it flying to the sideline. First and goal. Maybe a miscommunication, but a touchdown nevertheless. And again, Zach Miller. up standing right at the pylon he's going to come from inside and watch as Russell Wilson comes out and he gives the pump fake spinorama and they just forget all about Miller and he's just standing there by himself I don't know how you do that with a guy 6'5 250 second and 10 Penny tipped still in the air and they get it right back. That's Bobby Wagner, the middle linebacker. Seattle came in leading the league with seven turnovers. They had five last week against the 49ers. Well, this bounced right off the head of Brad Meester, the center. And it bounced up again right there as Wagner tips it really to himself and lays out for the athletic interception. I think Henny threw this. They spotted at the 11-yard line. Wilson. And zone touchdown. Sidney Rice. Just when it looked like Jacksonville was going to get on the board, Seattle turns it around. They get the turnover, march it down the field, and extend their lead. Well, Gus Bradley told us we can we can hang with these guys if we don't make mistakes. And the batted pass for the interception, interception, it doesn't take long at all for that to come back and turn into a touchdown. Robinson with the direct snap, and that just goes nowhere. The ball is loose. Scramble for it.
this ball came out right away as Denard Robinson was going to make the decision. The decision was made for him. The ball rocketed forward, and Seattle jumped on it. That ball laid in the middle of the formation painfully. It seemed like forever. Watch as this ball just goes right off a Sanders jets forward five yards and then just lays there in the sunshine by itself <laughs> finally Brandon Meebane finally fell on it we used to say when I was playing they said listen that ball doesn't stay alone for very long because it's nothing but a bunch of paychecks laying there somebody's gonna grab it quick two month old child at home he's finally getting some sleep play action Wilson, lots of time, lots it, and it's caught. Sidney Rice goes up and snatches it out of the air for a touchdown, 23 yards. Well, the play action starts in Russell Wilson, as we said, when he moves with the football, you can see his eyes are always down the field. He put that ball out. As you see Rice coming in, working against McCray, and then it's Evans waiting for him at the top, and then it's all ball skills as Rice steps right in front and just plucks it away from both defenders. So Travaris Jackson now will run the Seattle offense with 354 left to go in the third. Russell Wilson, they, you look at him, he's got his helmet strapped on, it's not even unsnapped. He's walking around like, man, I can't believe I'm not out there. Jackson, going deep. Oh, he caught that. What a catch. Doug Baldwin, and the official waited to see if he had it, and he did. He one-handed it at the pylon, wow. Not bad coverage by Blackman. And Baldwin makes that look incredibly easy. What a great athletic grab. He's working up at the top, great release to the outside. And just pulls it in and slides through the end zone. 35 yards, and it'll bring up first down for the Seahawks. Jackson lofts it. Luke Wilson still on his feet. Finally dragged down inside the 35. Luke Wilson, the rookie from Rice, a pickup of 35 yards. Well, this is a play that we saw Russell Wilson run early. He's going to come across the formation, get lost in the traffic, get some depth to stay away. As he's the underneath tight end, they send both tight ends across to give Tavares Jackson two targets. And, of course, you see Wilson breaking one tackle and getting up the sideline. That's the kind of play that the Seahawks run a lot because of the mobility of their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Oh Out and everything, they're not missing a beat with their backup quarterback. Jackson keeps it. Dives for the end zone, touchdown. That's another great example of it. At the Open today, we mentioned that Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson wanted to get their offense on track. And I think a 44-point outburst is evidence that uh, they didn't have too much to worry about. They have been spot on. All the proving your own game, and the result will take care of itself. Third and five. Eighth play of this drive. Henny intercepted. Cam Chancellor. And the big man motors downfield. Henny telegraphed his pass a little bit. He stared his receiver down. And Cam Chancellor jumped in from back in the secondary. He's going to look at Henny, see those receivers come and start to sort out. Jumps right in front of Williams and starts back the other way. Looks like a linebacker out there. This is a big man. So another.
another turnover. So that will do it. Seahawks officially 3-0. and And Jacksonville, their struggles continue. They begin 0-3. positives to take away for the Seattle Seahawks. No letdown after the big win over San Francisco last Sunday night. Final score 45-17. For Steve Tasker, this is Bill McAtee saying so long from Seattle. You've been watching the NFL on CBS. And now, let's go to JB in New York.